Hi guys, I wanted to share my completed breakfast nook with you. I just finished decorating this room a couple weeks ago. Most of the things you probably have seen if you've watched some of my other videos, but I did finish decorating the wall to the left and I haven't shown that yet. This is one of my favorite rooms of the house because of the view. It is beautiful all year around. We live in Michigan, so we get to see all four seasons. It is just gorgeous when the sun is setting, and I wanted to keep the decor simple in here because really you're just looking out the window, but I did want to compliment it and put a few things on the wall, so I'm going to show you that, but first let's take a look at what our house looked like before and during the renovations. One of the first things that we did before we even moved in was tear out the white tile and that was quite a job. I'm glad I didn't have to do it. And then we put a maple floor in so we are really happy with this. I think it's just beautiful. Our walls are Benjamin Moore Gray Owl and this is the same color that I have in the living room and entryway and then our whole upstairs is painted this color as well. We chose this table because we wanted to keep it very clean line, very modern and sleek without anything heavy. I love the ghost chairs because you can see through them and it just looks really nice with our kitchen, which is over here. I'm sure a lot of you have seen our kitchen already because I have quite a few videos from my kitchen, but I just love the way everything looks together. Currently on my breakfast nook table, I have this terrarium that I made. I do have a video talking about how I made it. It's actually pretty simple. In the spring and summer, I like to bring fresh flowers in from our yard. But for now, I have this terrarium, which I think is really nice. And the base of it is actually a piece that we picked up when John and I were in California. So it's a souvenir piece, and we got it at Near Woods. And then the glass is separate, but I'll link the video below in case you want to see how to make this. And then I filled this corner with this plant. We got this at Home Depot and it was only like $25 or $30. It has grown some, but I love it. I love that it's not the typical plant that you always see in everyone's home, which is completely fine, but I just, I just like that it's a little bit different. And I love how it's twisted here. I just think that's really cool. I got the pot for it, it's like a basket, from Ikea. And then I just put another clear plastic thing under there that I got from Home Depot just because we have hardwood floors and I didn't want any water to get on the floor. There is a liner inside, but just to be extra safe. And then over here in this corner, I have this basket that I got from Home Goods, and we keep our flip flops in here. Just a few pair. I think we each have a pair in there. And that way, when we want to go outside, we can just put them on because we do have a sliding glass door here that leads to our patio. And that way, we don't have to go find our shoes and we're not walking out barefoot and dragging dirt in. I got this rug, which I love, from Home Goods. It has the gray and white, and then it does have some of the blue. As you saw, my island is blue, so it ties it all in. We also had these shades installed a couple months ago. We hardly ever pull them down because we just love the view, and we don't really have an issue with privacy here because of the way that the homes are designed, and also the people across the pond are way too far away to see into our house, so we really weren't worried about it. But we chose Hunter Douglas shades, and we had to have them custom designed because of the size of the window. And we just chose to get ones that would block out the sun, but you can still see through just because we don't really have an issue with privacy, and it's just our breakfast nook anyway. Over 
over here on this wall, we have this piece from World Market. I love this. John and I both loved it, and we just had to have it. So it works really well, I think, with our table and our kitchen and everything. I wanted to add a few wooden items because I have some in our kitchen. And then with the view, I think it all ties together really nicely. The first thing that I got was this mushroom from World Market. I just love it. I think it's so cute. And my mother-in-law saw it and she got this mushroom and this one from Home Goods. So I think it's nice to have the three items that you know work together well. And then I wanted to add some plants. So I love succulents. So I got this aloe plant and then the two other succulents here. I got all of those from Ikea. I think they're so pretty. And the two white pots are from Ikea. And then this one is actually just a piece of something that I thrifted. Um, and that is a real succulent in there. I don't know. It's lived for a couple of weeks and it's actually grown so it might survive but I did buy an artificial one just because it has just a tiny amount of dirt in there but we'll see I just think it looks really pretty and then to add another wooden element I got this sphere from Target I believe it's the Threshold brand I recently got it so you should still be able to find it if you are interested but I love that I love the mix of tones and colors and everything and then we did have this L already at our old house and I just painted it the same color as our island which is Nantucket blue just to bring a little bit of the blue over here so I love the way it turned out um, John loves it he's like this is a work of art which you know I'm sure he just loves me but um, I think it looks really cool I hope you enjoyed my little tour of our breakfast nook. We will have plenty of great times in here, I'm sure, enjoying our view and one another. Thank you so much for watching.